Hi everyone, welcome to this uh, new video about uh, Matomo Analytics. In this video, I'm going to explain how you can track uh, downloads which are made on some interaction which are not uh, of a link. So the given example is um, the, the following scenario is happening here. You have actually one uh, user who would like to download uh, something, but when uh, you pass your mouse over the, the button here, uh, you can see that actually there is no link uh, associated to it. And Matomo, by default, recognizes the download uh, when it's made on a link, which is ending with some uh, file extensions, just .zip, .exe, or whatever. So here, uh, we would like actually to track uh, the download made over here. And in order to do so, we need actually to add an additional tracking code, which is the following one, which is the onclick pack push track link uh, functions. And uh, if we do so, then we'll have the possibility actually to track uh, this uh, given download. So in my case, what I will do is I will add uh, a form. So that's what I did here. I just went on uh, W3School. I just copy and paste actually an example of a form. And uh, now that I have my form up and running, all I need to do is, of course, to deploy the tracking code when someone's clicking on this given button. So I don't have access to the source code. So I'm using uh, Matomo Tag Manager in order to do it. So Basically, here I added uh, one tag. So I have like two tags on my uh, container, one in order to track all the different uh, page view interaction. And I have another one, which is the following one. So this is a custom HTML tag. I name it manually track downloads. I just copy and paste by adding those script uh, tag within it. And uh, here I can put whatever I want, right? That's uh, the information that you would like to appear, it can be as well uh, a variable according to the data that you can grab. And I need this information in order to say, okay, that's a, that's a download. And then I need to define when this given uh, tracking code will be deployed. In my case, it will deploy, be deployed when uh, there's a form which is submitted and the form ID equal form one. And the reason why that's the case, it's that's because the ID of the form, it's written over here, it's form number one. So here, if I go on this given page and I click like, uh, let's say three times on this uh, download button, so one, two, and three, normally I should see um, I should sit within my Matomo installation. So here you can see that, yes, three downloads have been recorded. One here, one other here, one other here. And that's because um, I added actually the, the line of code that uh, you have seen. Yes, you have seen over here. OK, hope you enjoyed this tutorial and hope it will uh, help you actually overcoming uh, the situation where uh, the interaction that you would like to track as a download is not made out of a click on a link. Thanks for watching.